support. This video was brought to you by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. And sponsored by G2A.com. For the cheapest games, MSP and PSN codes. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to this video, this little career mode life hack video, whatever you want to call it. Pretty much, guys, I'm going to be showing you today how to make unlimited amounts of money for your career modes in FIFA 17. And I'm going to be making a few other videos like this, again, depending on whether or not you want them, about cool little tricks and stuff that you can do in career mode. And so let's get started. Now, first off, I'll tell you before I actually get into the nitty gritty of how you do this, I was talking with a friend uh, that also plays career mode, not really a YouTube friend, but just a mate that does career mode. And he was talking about, oh, I don't really have, he was just starting out in a new account. He didn't really have, uh, the, he hadn't unlocked like the, uh, what do you call him? The... How have I forgotten what they're called already? I have no idea. The bloody financial takeovers, you know what I'm talking about. He actually didn't unlock it on the account that he was on, and he wanted to make a career where he just had insane amounts of money and he didn't know how to do it. So I told him, oh, did you know that you can create players and edit players so that way they have insanely, ridiculously good stats and you can sell them on for ridiculous amounts of money? And he had no idea. And while this guy did know that, yes, you can create players in FIFA, he didn't know that you could create a player in FIFA and have that player on your career mode team, that you could put him in a career mode. He honestly didn't know that. He also didn't know that you could edit already existing players on your career mode team to get insanely better and to be super expensive. And then I ended up asking around to see if there were any other people that knew about this trick. And I was absolutely shocked by the amount of people that didn't know about this trick. And so I'm gonna be making this video today showing you how you can get unlimited amounts of money for your career mode. Now, one of the first tricks that you can do is you can go in and create a player for a career mode team. Now, there's really not too many things that you need to do in order to make this work. All you've gotta do is create a player and make sure that this player is going to be be on the list of the team that you want to do the career mode for. So for example, you want to do a career mode with Newcastle United, you just have to create the player and put him in Newcastle United. And pretty much all you've got to do to make sure that you're going to get the most amount of money for him is just max out all of his stats, all of his ratings, get him all the way up to 99 and make him the most insane player ever. If you want to make him even more expensive, then you can make him even younger. Like Obviously, an 18-year-old, 19-year-old, 20-year-old is going to cost a lot more than, say, oh, I don't know, a 35-year-old in the end of his career. So it only makes sense. Now, one thing that you're going to have to realize with this is that if you create a player like this 99-rated superstar, you're not going to be able to sell him in the first season because it's his first season at the club. So you'd have to wait, unfortunately, until you sell him on. But one thing that you can do is you can edit already existing players on your team so that way they are like, 96, 97, 98, super highly rated as well. And you can sell those players in your first season. So again, if there were a few players in your team that maybe you weren't too keen on playing in, if they weren't like 96, 97 rated, you weren't going to play anyway, you were probably going to sell them on. What you can do is you can take some of those players and bump up their stats so that way they're all the way up to that high 90 rating and you can sell them for so, so much. Straight away, immediately getting tens of millions of dollars, more closer to $100 million in one bloody transfer and it will just skyrocket the amount of money that you can play with in your first bloody season. And there's only one thing that you have to change or be wary of when you start the new career mode and that is that when it comes to the squads and when it comes to the list of the teams, you have to make sure that it is set to current customize. It's going to start off as uh, download latest by default. Just make sure you switch that to current customize and you'll be good. I would also strongly recommend that you download updates for all the teams before you go through and edit all of these players because Again, you want to make sure that you've got the teams at the moment when you start the career pretty much as up to date as possible before you go on and edit all those players. And so once that's all finished and you've set up your career mode, you can go into the transfer list and start selling or listing all the players that you want to sell. You will have to wait a little bit longer before being able to sell a creative player, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. And I definitely recommend if you are going to do this, that you chuck in at least two or three or so, maybe even more creative players because they are going to go for about 100 million each. Keep in mind as well that you're not going to get an offer for every single one of these players in your first like transfer window or anything like that. I mean, maybe you might even only get three or four at the very least, but trust me, these players will sell. You will get offers from guys like Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, the big, big clubs with all the money to just play around and spend on insane players. And trust me, you are definitely going to be able to bring in some incredible amounts of cash. If you want to take your career mode a little bit more seriously, then I probably don't recommend this. But I mean, if you don't really care and you just want to have a little bit of fun, then I highly recommend you give this a go because it is so, so fun being a team like Newcastle in the championship or whatever and having like 
a billion dollars just to spend and just play around with. It is hilarious. It's awesome. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, comment down below if you enjoyed this sort of career mode hack type video. If you want to see more like these, more tricks and more tips. Because I do definitely have a few more that I could share with you guys. But uh, I don't really know. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see what you guys think. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.